Hey guys, Pete here with JS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add dynamic coordinates to your leaflet web map. Stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'll leave links in the description below, but what we're doing, we're going to leaflet plugins, and we're going down to mouse coordinates. And we're going to click on leaflet coordinates. And this link will take you to this GitHub page. And from here, we will go to code, download zip. And we give credit to this person who put the code together. And we go to our downloads. Let's go ahead and extract all. And I will copy this extracted folder and I'll put it into my project folder right here, along with my HTML. And let's go ahead and open that. So the HTML I have here is just a very simple web map. Looks like that. And what I'm going to do is first is open the folder where I have this extracted code. Okay, so we're going to do first is we'll go into the dist folder. We're going to add these two CSS files, and then we're going to add this JavaScript file. So let's go and add that right up here in the head. And what we could do is simply, oops, let's go and close out of that. We could just simply right click on top of that and copy the relative path. We could paste it right here between the quotes. And we'll do the same for the next one. And we'll just right click on this next CSS file, copy relative path, and we'll just paste it right in here. And we'll close that off. Finally, we're going to add the JavaScript. And it's going to be this file right here. Right click, copy relative path, paste it. We'll close that off. Okay, so now in the body, we'll just call this coordinates. It's L control coordinates. And we'll have position. Use degrees, minutes, seconds. The label template lat. And label template long. Now this, it's just adding the N for the North and the E for the East. Okay, use lat long order. True. We'll come back and we'll go ahead and adjust some of these options here. And finally, add to map. Okay. So I'll go and save that, and we'll go ahead and run. And as you see down here, as the mouse moves around, I'm getting my 
latitude and longitude dynamically. Now we can move this whole bar down here. As you could recall, I have it on the bottom left. I could basically say top right. Save that, refresh this, and it's right here. You know, we could we don't need the decimal minutes and seconds. We could just say false or remove this. Refresh that. Refresh this. And as you see, so there's a lot of variations you could do um, do with this. But let me just put this back. Oops. Right on the left. True. And of course, you know, we don't need to have those if we don't want. Let's refresh this. And there's our lat long. And another thing we could do is click onto the coordinates here, left click, and we could actually enter some coordinates here. So if I say 34, you can see my marker appears here, negative 10. As you see, it kind of moves around. So that's just another function you could have with this coordinate system is you could actually just manipulate the numbers here. It will move a marker around. Of course, you don't have to do that. Um, you could just have your mouse move around to actually get the coordinates. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, as always, please leave a, a comment down below if you have any questions or any suggestions for further videos. Um, I greatly appreciate you guys watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.